John Denton, OrlandoMagic.com. Uh, DJ, some of the guys said that you have some of the most playoff experience on the team, that there's nobody they won't have the ball more than you. Did you feel like this would be a big night? Would there be openings for you? Or did you were you just taking what was there? Yeah, I mean, I've always just uh, taken what the defense has given me. Um, I let the game come to me. Uh, we went out there and we fought hard. That's a great team over there. And, um, you know, we knew they was going to make a run in the second half, and they did. And uh, we just tried to keep our composure, keep fighting, and uh, we came out with a good win. This is a question for both of you. Josh Robbins from The Athletic. What does the way you guys won this game describe? How does that describe what your team is? Uh, it was just, you know, we fight until the end. Uh, you know, it's, it, no matter what's going on in the game, you know, there's always a lot of time. And, uh, <laughs> you know, like when they made our run in the second half, you know, we, you know, we just knew that we had to sustain it a little bit and uh, uh, come back right at them. And uh, just, you know, that's the way it, it is. Uh, it's a game of runs, and you have to be able to sustain it. Uh, but I think you know, throughout this last month uh, for us, you know, we're able to, to fight through a lot of different adversity, and it's kind of prepared us um, for the playoffs. DJ, uh, that last shot, the last possession, were you thinking shoot all the way, or did you just kind of pick up on the miscommunication between Gasol and Kawhi and decide to let it fly at the end? Yeah, um, they were switching the whole game. So um, when Kawhi, I came off the pick with Vooch, and I saw Kawhi kind of go under the screen, and I saw Mark try to step up. So he gave me a little space, and I took what the defense gave me. That's what I said. I, I do all every game. Um, I just try to play my game and let, you know, just let it come to me. And uh, when I saw the opening, I shot the ball with confidence, and he went in. Uh, Mike Bianchi, Orlando Sentinel, to, uh, elaborate on that shot a little bit more. Is that the biggest shot you've hit since dot, dot, dot? I mean, <laughs> since I've been in the NBA, yeah. But, uh, you know, um, it's, just a, it's just a good play, man. I mean, I, like I said, I shot the ball with confidence. Um, I kind of had it going pretty much most of the night from three. And uh, my teammates did a great job of screening for me, rolling. Um, like I said, it was a team effort. We, we went out there. We fought hard. We didn't get down when they came back and made a run. Um, and we didn't fold. We just kept playing and kept fighting. Go ahead. DJ Ian Harrison from Associated Press. So I wonder if you could just talk about how what you guys have gone through in the last month has helped you keep your composure in the fourth quarter of this game. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, I'm so proud of this team, man. You know, these last few months, especially since after All-Star break, uh, I think we had one of the best records in the NBA. And it's just, a, it's just a mindset that we came in with. You know, our goal was to make the playoffs. And uh, just not make it. We want to make noise and, and, and win a series or two. And uh, we feel like we can. We believe in ourselves. Coach believes in us. And uh, I feel like that's all we need to, to get some good wins and, and build momentum. John Denton, OrlandoMagic.com. Vooch, how much did it help that you guys have been in this fight for the last six weeks? And uh, um, a lot of nights it was you, you won because you had it rolling or because T. Ross had it rolling or somebody else. But it seemed like you got contributions from 10, 11 guys. Well, obviously, you know, not, nothing compares to the playoff series, but uh, I think that this last month just kind of gave us uh, somewhat of a, an example of uh, what we need to be uh, prepared for, and I think it mentally prepared us because uh, we were not really, at one point, uh, after our, our loss in Washington, we were really down, and uh, it was difficult for us. Uh, we just found a way to, to, to bounce back, and I think that just uh, brought us together, uh, you know, really brought our confidence up and uh, made us believe that we, we can do something special. And uh, we won some big games, uh, you know, Philly at home, then go and beat Miami on the road. And those, those games just, you know, helped our confidence and uh, believe that, that we can do something special. And uh, I think in, in some ways it, it prepared us for this. And uh, I think it showed tonight, uh, you know, once we got down. And then uh, Ford, especially after Kawhi hit those you know, two big shots uh, to, to give him the lead, uh, we were able to, to come back. And uh, you know, it just shows that we're resilient and that we believe in, in each other. DJ, this might have been a game where, for the first time, a lot of people around North America saw the Magic play. For those people who saw your team play for the first time, what did they learn? What did they discover, do you think? Uh, that we're not a team that's going to give up no matter what. Um, we've been doubted our whole season, even before the season even started. Nobody expected us to be here today. Nobody expected us to win tonight. And, uh, you know, we always believed in each other. You know, we, we're a family. And, uh, you know, they just saw that a team that's not going to give up team that's going to fight, going to play defense, going to share the ball on offense, and uh, just play hard. Everybody good? Mike, one more. Yeah, DJ, last thing. You seem to, you, the, the team you just des described, you seem to epitomize that team. I mean, a lot of people doubt, doubted you, overlooked you, said, you know, you're not a starting point guard in this league. Can you address that? Yeah, man, I mean, 
honestly, I, I, I don't listen to that kind of stuff. I never did. Um, I've, I've been the same size since I was little. Nobody expected me to be in the NBA. I'm going into my 12th year. Um, so I never listened to what the outside people said. I only care about my family, uh, the people close to me and my teammates. And they believe in me. My coaches believed in me from the, from the jump. And uh, that's all I needed, man. I don't care what nobody says about me. I never did. Is everybody good? All right. Thank you.